setback. Scientists have discovered a way to fold space and time. opportunity to destroy an entire militia fleet. We know these terrorists are almost out of fuel, but desperation will make them unpredictable. Do not underestimate them. They can't run far, and they will most likely hit a fueling facility in the next few hours. Spyglass will fill you in. Titan pilots, you will be assigned to drop ships at all potential targets in the Yuma system. A heavy patrol rotation will be maintained at all sites. At the first sign of militia forces, you will deploy to the ground and ensure that the air defense turrets remain online. You are cleared weapons free for this operation. Stay vigilant. Graves out. In space, fuel is life, and the militia fleet is running low. Only seven planets in the Yuma system can replenish a fleet of that size. This is one of them. We've set up turrets like this one, just in case the militia decide to pay this site a visit. That's Charlie, this one's Bravo. Bravo, give me a sip rep. Turret online and operational, sir. What's up, Grace? Zulu 3 shows multiple jump signatures, three clicks out. Blessed, tell Ricks to get his squad on the deck now. <laughs> sir, our forces have assembled at Renning Point Delta. Pilots, today you have a chance to establish peace on the frontier. Make it count. All pilots secure hardpoints. Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. The rest of you, on me. We gotta secure the hardpoints and neutralize all hostiles. Move out. This is a hardpoint mission. All units be advised. The turrets are online for Alpha, and the Red Eye's taking major damage. Pilot, there's a hard point in that building. Get in there and patch me in. You've got talent, I'll give you that. <laughs> we didn't even kill off that fleet. 54 ships destroyed, that's it. How many of those ships were civilian? Today's civilians are tomorrow's militia, sir. What do you want me to do? Wait? Start a search. I want that fleet found. Graves out. Warning. Militia dropship has arrived in the that point. Intercept and destroy it. All personnel. This is Vice Admiral Graves. As you know, the militia fleet remains operational in the wake of their refueling raid in the Yuma system, and we have deployed probes to a number of sectors. Spyglass will brief you on the results of the search. Pilots, I have scanned all possible destinations within jump range of the Yuma system. Life forms have been detected in sector Bravo 217, previously believed to be uninhabited. The militia forces we seek may be hiding there. Recommend an advanced team led by Sergeant Blisk to investigate, with a suitable complement of supporting units. Very well. 
So ordered. All pilots, gear up and stand by for deployment. Sergeant Blisk has command on the ground. Good luck. Graves out. Sir, we haven't found any militia. Just a handful of civilians. Copy that. Keep looking. But I like the way these specters kill, eh? Next-gen automated infantry is the future, but taking out a bunch of civilians is hardly a test. Sir, it looks like militia ships. They're deploying ground forces at the north end of the village. And that's a real threat. Deploy three more racks of specters. Get those other specters online. We've got militia pilots moving in from the east. Charlie's squad is still rounding up colonists. We'll tell those metal bastards to wrap it up. We've got bigger fish to fry. Copy that. Listen up, pilots. This will be a good test of our new specters. Prepare for a battle of attrition. Neutralize every militia unit in the area. Good luck. Vice Admiral Graves, the militia have access to distressed beacon lots. They're attempting to locate the remaining terrorists. Blisk, you said this camp was wiped out. Find out where the rest of them went. Sir, I've intercepted an enemy transmission. Voice only. Playing it now. Looks like Mommy has gone a little close. We are not terrorists. We are not part of your damn war. We're falling by the Calling us. If you can hear me, do not engage the MMC. They can't be reasoned with. Spyglass, intercept that signal and clean it up. Sir, I've intercepted another fragment. Voice only. We're falling back to higher ground. You know that voice, sir? It's the voice of a dead man. Find out where it's coming from. Deep slate. Double the fun. Down of you. Who is this guy? His name is James McCallan, former IMC commander. He's wanted for mutiny. Find him. Pilots, we've routed the militia. Hunt them to their evac point. I'm still decoding the intercepted transmission. If there are more terrorists out there, we'll find them soon enough. Vice Admiral Graves, I have the enemy transmission. Patching in. We're wanting party awards. I've got into our doorstep. Most of the civilians getting slaughtered. McCallan. Spyglass, open a channel. Yes, sir. Channel open, Vice Admiral. You should have stayed gone, McCallan. Great. You're still on the wrong side, are you? We're soldiers, Mac. You're dreaming of you. Out. I'm awake now, you son of a bitch. All personnel, this is Vice Admiral Graves. Our pursuit of the first militia fleet has produced surprising results. We have flushed the mutineer McCallan from hiding. McCallan is now the IMC's most wanted target in this sector. Blisk. McCallan is a notoriously dangerous tactician. If he falls in with the terrorists, then they will gain a considerable advantage. We've picked up transmissions that suggest they will attempt to extract him from the northern plateau, near the wreckage of the IMS Odyssey, the very ship McCallan stole from us. All pilots. Your objective is to eliminate all militia forces and secure the site. Under cover of your fire, Blisk's capture team will attempt to locate McCallan and take him into custody. Good luck. Graves out. I am scanning the wreckage of the ship, registered as the Odyssey. 
reported loss to mutiny under your command, Vice Admiral. I'm well aware of the history of the ship, and I know who's responsible for its present condition. What I want to know is how it got here. It was only a matter of time. Pilots, get ready to move. Secure the site. Battle of attrition. Wipe out anyone and everyone who gets in your way. Let's take this ship back. All ground forces neutralize the terrorists. Secure the area for salvage recovery. Militia forces have penetrated the Odyssey. What the hell are they doing in there? Hiding? Fight off. Scan for electronic activity. Low level frequency only by Admiral. Keep an eye on them, Spy Glass. I want to know what they're up to. By the Admiral. I'm detecting increased heat signatures in the Odyssey's central core. They're trying to spin her up, but she's half in the ground. Damage to her stabilizers make flight operations impossible, sir. They're not trying to fly her. They're looting her. Blisk! Flush the terrorists from the ship! The Odyssey just shook up an engine. Not gonna be much left to salvage. Vice Admiral. Scans indicate the militia still have a stable uplink with the Odyssey CPU. They're extracting crucial information from her every second. We have to secure the site immediately. Sever the militia's connection, Blisk. Do whatever it takes. Sir, I'm in the ship's command center. No one here now, but it looks like McCann has stepped into the ship's archive. Well, Mac, I guess you're with them now. Blisk, return to base. We'll deal with McCann later. Warning, another Titan is attacking you. Vice Admiral Graves. Scans indicate that McAllen may have escaped with classified data. McAllen's got the plans for Demeter. If the militia didn't trust him before, they will now. And if they're following the playbook, what they need next is in Angel City. I will alert all informants in Angel City to be on the lookout. What is he after? It's not a what, it's a who. Attention all pilots, this is Vice Admiral Graves. We have confirmed that the traitor McAllen has joined forces with the militia's first fleet. I know this man, and I know how his mind works. He will attempt to make contact with a retired IMC officer named Barker, last seen in Angel City. Our operatives are tracking Barker within the city as we speak. If McAllen does make contact, we can expect heavy firepower to support him. Your assignment is to eliminate all militia forces who stand with him. Prepare for combat. Our search parties are getting wiped out down there. Your mission is to eliminate enemy forces interfering with the search. In position. Pilots prepare to disembark. Captain, we cleared District 10 and 11. Yeah. Eliminate all enemy forces. Sir, these militia bastards don't know when to quit. I need more air support to search the harbor district. The Sentinel will be there in the next 10 mics. McAllen's crew have killed a lot of good people, Bliss. You will not let them escape. Graves out. Pardon. Your Titan will be ready in 30 seconds. Sergeant Bliss. Give me a sit rep. How are the search teams doing? 
No sign of Barker or McKellen yet. The militia's putting up a hell of a fight in the Harbor District. Chances are they're hiding out in there. Copy that. Keep me posted. Graves out. Forces are down to 25%. Heavy losses across the board. We can't take much more of this. Sergeant Blitz, get your search party working double time. I have a feeling this is a diversion, but we have to make sure. If it was just a diversion, sir, they certainly paid a high price for it. Damage assessment complete. Flagship IMS Sentinel. Damage report. During the Battle of Angel City, the Sentinel took critical internal damage from militia fighter craft. The aft stabilizer was rendered inoperative. Vice Admiral, I recommend three days in repairs. There is a purpose to their sacrifice. What? To show how desperate they are? They were. A few weeks ago, I'd accept that. But with McCallum calling the shots, I think he wants to move the Sentinel out of his way. You gotta see the whole board, Blisk. The nearest dry dock large enough to house the Sentinel is on Outpost 207. Spyglass, divert the destroyer to cover the Sentinel's patrol route until the repairs are complete. Activate all orbital cannons on the deck, and deploy pilots to the outpost, just in case. There's a militia ship coming into our airspace, sir! The militia's never been desperate enough to attack us here, so they want to get rid of the Sentinel that bad, eh? Doesn't matter. We're ready for them. Spyglass, get our pilots to the outpost. Jumping in now, my Blisk, charge the cannons. It's the target. Party now. This is the six. We are approaching the first of 26 jump points to Tower Station Zulu. You have all been given Code Black 5 clearance for this operation. Understand that you are going to a hostile planet. It will try to kill you. The Dog Whistle Tower at this site has not functioned for 20 years, so you will be exposed to the wildlife out there. When you make Planet 4, you will encounter flyers with beaks powerful enough to pierce 9 inch armor plating. You will see creatures so massive that they affect the calculation of jump coordinates. 
Do not allow these hazards to distract you from the mission at hand. The militia seeks to exploit the repulsor technology, and we cannot allow that to happen. Take control of all generator hardpoints, overload the tower, and scuttle the base. Grapes out. Pilots, we got word the militia are trying to reverse engineer our repulsor technology. The old tower here was our prototype. Became the key advantage in colonizing worlds with hostile indigenous creatures. Our objective is to scuttle this facility before the militia learns too much about the tower. Fetch me into the hard points and we'll overload the core. That should do the trick. Ready up! Attention on deck. This is Vice Admiral Graves. The entire militia fleet is holding at a rally point beyond attack distance from the Demeter Gateway. They are still vastly outnumbered by the dedicated reserve fleet stationed at the airbase on the fourth moon. I believe this airbase will be the next target. Sudden Blisk. The militia first fleet didn't make the trek to the boneyard for the safari. They were trying to find a way to take down the dog whistle towers. The airbase depends on these to keep the creatures out. Now despite the losses they took, we have to assume they found a way to take down the towers. If they did, that's just the domino they'll need. Sergeant Bliss will coordinate a protective force on the ground, assigned explicitly to the towers. All pilots, you will engage any militia infantry you encounter at the airbase. No one gets through. Graves out. Attention, this is Vice Admiral Graves to all personnel. A militia attack on this base is imminent. Prepare for hostile Titanfall. There are strong indications that they intend to destroy the Repulsor Towers at the heart of this facility. The militia will do anything to destroy these towers. If we lose, there's nothing to protect this place from the elements. Now let's go kick some ass. Graves out. This is a battle of attrition. They get all militia forces. Blisk, I have detected a small unit attempting to access the North Tower. Scanning is sporadic and unreliable due to interference and the thickness of the blast walls. Copy that, Spyglass. I'm sending a separate team to deal with the covert element. All pilots, stay focused on the main invasion force. Sir, the militia have taken out the North Tower. Whoever's out there is good. Have your intercept team cut hard to the East Tower and set up an ambush. Don't let them pursue directly. All other pilots, stay on the main invasion force in case they make an attempt on the main tower. We're hammering the militia covert team in the tunnels by the East Tower. One of them's running for it. Female, she's been hit in the arm and leaving a hell of a blood trail. My men are in pursuit. Sergeant Bliss, I am detecting instability in the East Tower. Damn thing's coming down, Spyglass. They have some kind of device. Somehow it destabilizes the tower. Spyglass, there's a phantom lifting off right. 
right now. She's got to be on board. Negative. That fighter is operating on an unknown autopilot protocol. Spyglass, decrypt and expedite. The fighters are attacking the main tower. All units be advised. The repulsor towers have been destroyed. Wildlife intrusions have been detected across the entire base perimeter. The facility is being overrun by indigenous life. Mission terminated. All pilots head for the evac point. Vice Admiral Graves, incoming transmission from James McAllen. He is asking for you. You read me, Graves? You know what's coming. All out assault. Doesn't have to go down like this. Lots changed in the last 15 years since you wore this uniform, Mac. I won't let you walk away this time. Have you really made a difference in the IMC, Marcus? Or did you just turn into another company man along the way? All I see is bloodshed. I don't see any change. Then we'll let the end game decide who's right and who's dead. Attention all pilots. This is your commanding officer, Vice Admiral Graves. Please stand by for a transmission from your employer, Mr. Hammond. Are you receiving me, Graves? Yes, sir. Proceed. All loyal members of the IMC, I have been informed of the recent loss of our air support responsible for the security of Demeter. Rest assured, I am presently fueling reinforcements to be dispatched from the core systems on the long jump to the frontier. You will hold the port of Demeter this day. You will crush the terrorist's last-ditch attempt at disrupting our civilization, and you will find yourselves relieved and rewarded tomorrow. Vice Admiral Graves, our world is in your hands. Yes, sir. All pilots, prepare for battle. Graves to all personnel. Demeter is the gateway to the frontier. By attacking our largest refueling depot, the militia thinks they can shut the door on us. You will correct that perspective. Graves out. Pilots! Defend the hard points at all costs. If the militia overload the reactor core, it's all over. Strap Anvil in. Anvil 1 is a go. Anvil 2 standing by. Anvil 3 is good to go. Anvil 4 is a go. I hate this part. Cut the chatter. Initiating drop sequence. Separation confirmed. Stand by. Approaching shock layer. Impact in three, two, one. Pilots, I am taking over operations for Sergeant Blisk. This is a hardpoint battle. Hold the hardpoint so we can shut down the reactor core before the militia can trigger a meltdown. If they succeed, the resulting chain reaction will destroy Demeter and prevent IMC reinforcements from reaching the frontier for years. Militia forces are attempting to divert power to detonate the reactor core. Can you disrupt them remotely, Spyglass? Of course, Vice Admiral. Although a manual overload will still be possible. Type it online. Signal when ready. Incoming transmission. It is McAllen. Patching in. Open your eyes, Marcus. You could have stopped me 15 years ago. Instead, you gave me the ship. Damage floor on Sir, I've got the bastard in my sights. I'm going after him. Stand by. Bliss, hold your fire. You're going to rupture a coolant circuit and blow the place to hell. Hand-to-hand -hand combat only. Move. With pleasure, sir. Boss Admiral, McKellen's locked himself in the reactor core chamber. He'll be bloody dead in minutes. That chamber's completely irradiated. Blisk, there's nothing you can do. Get to your ship and get out of there. Marcus, I've got the reactor system pulse jetting. And all the coolant in the system isn't going to save this place anymore. <laughs> Vice Admiral Graves, 
McAllen has destabilized the core. Shutting down the reactor now will cause a reverse pulse detonation. This will result in the destruction of Demeter. The situation is untenable. Pilots, the core is going critical. We're sending evac ships to your location. We're gonna get you out of there. Negative. Executing command override. Evacuation dropships. Cancel. Damn it, Spyglass! What the hell do you think you're doing? All capital ships. Autopilot engaged. Forcing jump to minimum safe distance. Martin, you told me 15 years ago on board the Odyssey to take the ship. Now I'm giving you the same choice. <coughs> They'll follow you, Marcus. Just lead them. They can't forgive a former IMC. Look at me. She really believes she can turn you, sir. It's up to you now, my friend. Take the ship. On the frontier today, the IMC's port of Demeter was attacked by militia insurgents. Reports are sketchy, but indications are that the refueling facilities sustained major damage in the battle. Numerous casualties are... They just cut us off from the core systems. We're stuck on the wrong side of the frontier, sir. Yes, we are. The whereabouts of several high-ranking officers involved in the conflict, including Vice Admiral Marcus Graves, is presently unknown. Attention all pilots. Listen up, you bastards. This is Commander Blisk. For three months we've been pursuing the traitor Graves. We followed him into disaster. And now we follow him into one of Hammond's classified production facilities. Please stand by for your new Vice Admiral, Spyglass. We are still two years from completion of the new gateway at Demeter, which will bring with it the arrival of reinforcements from the core systems. At present, Spectre combat drones compose the bulk of our fighting force. The location of drone production facilities, therefore, is of paramount importance to our survival here in the frontier. The traitor Graves has stolen racks of Spectres and the locations of the facilities. He must be apprehended before he can lead the militia to our destruction. Prepare to deploy, pilots. Militia forces are using unauthorized remote terminals in an attempt to destroy the Spectre production line. Keep Bliss patched in and he will be able to pull Spectres off the rack to back you up down there. Once we have control, all Spectre forces on the assembly line will be activated and the terrorists will have nowhere to run. This is Mayhem 2-1. First Spectre squad is on the ground and raking hell. This is a hard point mission. We need to activate Spectre reinforcements with storage. But the terrorists have hacked our corporate AI mainframe. Take over those terminals. We are receiving a hailing signal on a private frequency. Thanks for me, Admiral. Only IMC officers would know the frequency. Grimes, what do you want to do, sir? Your call whether I take it. Catching you through. Stand by for a secure line. We're now in control of Hot Point Alpha. Hot Point Bravo is going down. Get over there if you can. Listen, this is Graves. Can you hear me? What do you want? I want to end the war. Yeah? Then fight harder. Maybe you will. The quickest way to end it is to wipe out everyone who stands against you. We got Bravo. We don't have to be against each other, Blisk. It could be us against the machines. Then how are we going to ever know who's better? No person is better than another, Blisk. I disagree. You kill me, you're better. I'll kill you, I'm better. Blisk can fight alongside machines, but they believe in nothing. They have no loyalty. They're loyal only to their operator. You're gonna lecture me about loyalty. You change your uniform like you're changing socks. In the end, against faceless machines and people like you who fight only for a paycheck, we will win. Oh, you 
I'll fight you for free, Graves. Hope to find you on the ground soon, eh? Shutting down transmission with the enemy. Uh, wasn't getting us anywhere anyhow. His forces were stronger. Repeat. IMC forces. This is your Vice Admiral. Designation, Spyglass. The destruction of Demeter and the loss of many robotics factories has put us on a defensive footing. Although reinforcements from the core systems are unable to reach us, battle projections indicate we are still an effective fighting force. Our garrisons continue to maintain order on the frontier. Until we are relieved, we will remain vigilant. We will adapt and we will prevail.